Good afternoon, people. Good afternoon, Imps fans, and welcome to the Imps Ting podcast show with your boy Cornell in the house. Back again with another video with my match reaction to Lincoln City 5, Cambridge United 1. Before we get into the video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts about yesterday's result, who played well for you, and what went well about the game and what didn't go so well about the game. Thank you to the 219 subscribers who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for that, um, Imps fans, and thank you, everybody. So without further ado, let's get, to the, let's get into the video back again. So yesterday, we Lincoln City went to the Abbey Stadium at Cambridge United um, and beat them 5-1, the same scoreline that we beat them two seasons, um, three seasons ago in League 2 during the Cowley era. Um, obviously, there was changes to the team. Obviously, we saw the debut of, ja of Jamie Robson. Um, fantastic to see him starting um, uh, his first ever game for the Mighty Imps. Quality left back. Um Obviously, it it was a break. It was a two week break due to the international break, but we came back treading stronger. And also, we saw the return of Chris Maguire, who has been out with an injury since pre season, and it was fantastic to see him back on the pitch. Um, I did have a bit of a worry about Teddy Bishop. Obviously, obviously, especially that ankle injury that he rolled over in training I'm still uh, a bit worried about that but it shouldn't be a problem I hope it's not too serious as we Imps fans um, most um, um, most fear but the game was fantastic it was a fantastic game to watch from 5 min five to 10 15 minutes we were the better side from the start we was just pinging them and, and getting them into great positions we got in good positions I thought Tail, I thought, I thought, I, I, I thought that we just played so, so well in that game, and I thought Robson was brilliant. I thought the back four, I thought the back four of T.J. Omer and Monsima was brilliant. I thought Regan Paul was brilliant. I thought Bridcut was brilliant. I thought Teddy Bishop was brilliant. I thought the whole team, I mean Adley Lacun, and I mean Hopper. Yes, he had a decent game as well too. But the whole team played really well, except. For Anthony Scully forward slash Anthony Ruboy Scully. Obviously scoring them goals. This is the reason why we have him in the first place. We got him. We have kept him because he is our asset. He's our greatest asset that we have got. And he is a wickedest baller. I don't care what anyone says. The fact of the matter is. Is that the reason we won was because of Anthony Scully. And then Ale LeCun's goal was brilliant. I thought. It was Teddy Bishop's goal was brilliant as well. But McGrandles, fantastic again. McGrandles, yes, he hasn't been in the best of forms as of late. But you know what? I mean, although I thought Scully was going to score the first goal. But McGrandles to score again. And then Thiago and then Luis Farini forward slash. Luis Thiago Farini scores the fourth goal. And it is a whopping goal that I have never seen. That I've never seen. And it is his first goal. Um, in an imp shirt. I'm absolutely buzzing for Luis Farini and I'm so proud of him to get his first goal and get it out of the way because this confidence can lead us going into this Tuesday's game against Rotherham United. And if we can carry on playing the way we played against Cambridge, we can take that confidence and put it and bring it to this Tuesday's game and sat this Saturday Cummings game against Ipswich Town. But for me... The whole team played well. Not going picking out individuals because the whole team played well and they played together as a team. They never gave up. They worked together and and that is the reason when the team work plays together, the team works hard and they worked hard yesterday. Yes, Adelaide Lacun is responsible for that mistake, but let's not get him onto it. He's going to get better and better. We just need to, he need, once he finds his rhythm, then everything will work out. But to, but yesterday was a fantastic away day. And I am so happy that we have got our first three points. Yes, we're 16th, we're 16th in the table, but it's a start. We can go into the Rotherham game and the Ipswich game with lots of confidence. That is what we need. 
you like this video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about yesterday's game. And I'll see you in the next video when we Lincoln City beat the Rotherham. Up the imps, back again.